have our i don't know high energy most enthusiastic abhilasha presenting about image associated quantitative octa for uvt specialist uh, thank you uvi to society and thank you dr somshila for the kind uh, uh, kind opportunity to present uh, this talk on image software assisted quantitative octa Uh, so we all know that optical coherence tomography angiography is a useful tool for our UVI test practice and especially in follow up uh, because it is a non invasive uh, test uh, quantitative octa analysis is essential to standardize objective interpretation of clinical outcomes uh, like when we see that there is ischemia if we are able to quantify it we can compare it with uh, uh, patients we know we are seeing it we are seeing the improvement but if we can quantify we can compare quantitative octa biomarkers are being used very commonly in diabetic retinopathy and uh, amd it involves procedures for quantitative feature uh, extraction so you see a normal uh, you see a scan a standard scan uh, and you can convert it into you can binarize the image and you can see the blood vessels and uh, uh, non perfusion areas clearly and then you can skeletonize the uh, blood vessels and uh, you can isolate the foveal avascular zone so all this has been used in uh, diabetic retinopathy so segmentation is commonly performed using manual or semi manual processes which are very complex and uh, many times we follow these uh, studies and we are not able to understand what is happening and quantitative analysis is done using commercially available software like matlab which is expensive and uh, when you are not in an institute you might not and you don't have funding you might be able to afford it so we have to look for an alternative and easy alternative for your cases uh, where you can solve your problems so uh, uh, uh image software is a java based image processing program developed by wine raspan in the national institute of health and it can display edit analyze process and save and print 8 bit images uh, so image software has been used previously but i will show you how what different i am doing now so you can uh, download this uh, from google and uh, whichever image you want to select you can open that image so you go to file and open the image here next uh, in the image section go to type and convert the uh, image into an 8 bit image so uh, an 8 bit image means that it has got uh, 256 scales of gray so 0 is black and 255 is white so traditionally what is being done is that image j software is used to binarize the image so you have either 0 or you have 1 so there is no uh, in between but we all know that octa has a lot of uh, artifacts so with eye movement motion artifacts may come and you might not uh, uh, the zero and one may not be actually correct so you get this uh, 8 bit image and then you have to apply the threshold function so once you apply the threshold function you can actually apply so, so the threshold in this image i have applied is 50 so from 0 to 220 to 255 i have applied 50 so all the gray uh, levels which are darker than 50 are selected so now this can be my threshold for all the patients of this particular disease entity and then i can compare the level of ischemias in uh, different patients so here you we are getting the percentage area of ischemia so now like for the uh, example this is a case of uh, ampigenous choroiditis at presentation uh, on healing we we use this fundus autofluorescence and we are seeing that okay the it is uh, scarred and the patient vision has improved uh, in the flow signal also uh, at presentation we see a lot of ischemia there and post healing uh, you can see subjectively that you know that okay flow signal has improved and even on this uh, corio capillary scan the ischemia seems to be quite less but when you actually quantify it you will see that uh, from 46% ischemia it has come down to only 43.63% so now we exactly know how much ischemia has is uh, how much uh, it has reperfused how much of ischemia has improved 
So this I have also applied in my cases of uh, rickettsial retinitis. Just in the morning I have presented this. So uh, the first panel shows the fundus photographs and post healing, this is the uh, OCTA scan of the superficial capillary plexus and uh, these areas of ischemia co-localize with the areas of retinitis and when you see you can quantify on the threshold function you can quantify the ischemia and compare between two groups so this group one is toxi group and group two is steroid group and we can objectively compare that the steroid group has more ischemia and we have applied the same threshold for both the uh, groups so future directions um, we can make uh, when when we have large data sets we can make uh, algorithms for various biomarkers like we have inflammatory cnbms we have uh, retinal ischemia or choroidal ischemia we can make biomarkers and uh, in future whether we like it or not uh, we'll have to uh, know about ai based uh, quantitative octa which is mo uh, mostly based on machine learning and learning based algorithms require data to tune parameters and perform effectively. So like uh, DRCR net, uh, they are actually capturing uh, diabetic retinopathy and they are actually doing this quantitative uh, OCTA. Um, but uh, those software is not accessible, so we can try this. And uh, I'd like to acknowledge my husband's contribution to my questions. <laughs> and uh, he searches answers for me. Uh, so, and uh, inviting all of you to Uber Usicon at uh, Abu Dhabi. It's, I'm sure it's going to be a great program with our senior faculty. And thank you. Yes, yes. Excellent, uh, Habilasha. Thank you so much. Uh, can I ask uh, Dr. Padma Malini, ma'am, to just comment on her presentation? Yeah. Congratulations for the excellent work and thanks for sharing it. Yes, as we know, that image J is freely available and all of us can access and do the thing. What the difficulty we face in UVIT guys is the media haze and artifacts. Once we can come out of it, uh, then it's easy to calculate. And also the recent uh, OCT machines, they also have inbuilt software to calculate the areas of ischemia. And also it's happy to know that and your uh, proving that the doxycycline group did well compared to the steroid group, the ischemia is less. That's a very good information and goes well with the treatment. Thank Congratulations. You. I have a question, ma'am. Ma'am, how do you differentiate the edema causing the, uh, the hyporeflectivity on octa as compared to? See, you have to see the on first image and then you will know whether it is actually a true ischemia or uh, it is just caused due to the retinal uh, edema. So that is why uh, uh, when when I compared the rickettsial retinitis group, I waited for the lesions to heal. I think Dr. Sanjay Srinivasan has a series where they have done quantitative OCTA at presentation. So uh, now when you have these uh, algorithms, so uh, the machine will be able to differentiate uh, whether this is a a true flow void or this is shadowing so uh, those because in things the case that you presented ma'am the f you showed a very uh, minimal in, uh, improvement uh, yes. uh, in the ischemia probably mm -hmm. because initially it was more of edema showing the flow void mm -hmm. when there was already ischemia and mm -hmm. then uh, after the edema is resolved so the oct has flattened but the uh, ischemia is still present in that case. Uh, but actually I didn't show the whole scan when you are when there is shadowing you will see that shadow in all the uh, all the scans you can see the ischemia in, uh, the shadowing in all the scans thank you Abhilash